You might be wondering why my battery life on my iPhone drains so quickly. Why doesn't it last longer? Am I the only one having these issues? And how can I get it fixed? I'm gonna walk you through all of the examples on why that battery life drains so fast and how to stop it. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is head into the settings app of your iPhone. So tap on the settings app on your iPhone. Oh, let me go back to the very beginning. At the very beginning of the settings, let's first check to see if there's an issue with your battery. This isn't usually the case. It's usually a software related thing. But if you have an older iPhone, iPhone 15, iPhone 14, 13, 12, maybe even iPhone SE, it could be the battery itself. So let's tap on battery here. And now let's tap on, scroll down a little bit, battery health and tap on that. Now on here, you'll be able to see battery health is normal on my iPhone. Max capacity for your iPhone should degrade naturally over time. So it starts at 100% and then it will basically level out at 85 or 80% after it's two, three years old. So you wanna make sure that you're at an appropriate level. My iPhone is one year old and you can see 95% max battery capacity. Now, if you find your battery health is okay, then it certainly is a software related issue. Let's first check by going back to the very beginning of your settings and let's check a huge culprit in draining your battery life. And that is your mail. So scroll down to the bottom, tap on apps, and then scroll down until you get to the mail option. From the mail option, you can see at the very top are your mail accounts. Let's tap on that and tap on fetch new data. Now you'll be able to see at the very top, it says new data will be pushed to your iPhone from the server when possible. You'll find that this constantly uses your battery life because it's constantly checking for new email. I would recommend turning this off in addition to any of these different emails that say fetch on here, you want to tap on it and switch this to manual. You also want to go down to the very bottom and under fetch, you want to switch this to manual. Essentially what this does is it prevents any automatic checking of your email. If you open up the email app itself, it will update and check your email, but it won't just do it in the background, draining your battery life. Next, let's hop out of here because we're going to check something else as well. So let's go back to the very beginning of the settings app on your iPhone. And from the very beginning, let's scroll down until you get to the option that says privacy and security. Tap on that and then tap on location services. These are every single app that uses your location. Some of these are set to while using, some of them are set to never, some of them even might be set to always. For instance, if this is set to always use your location, it can use your location no matter what. And you'll be able to see at the very top left, as soon as I turn that on, the little location icon turned on, indicating Google Maps just use my location. So I would recommend setting all of these to while using the app or switching these to never. You can see again, Google Maps just tagged my location, even though I don't have that app open and I'm not using it. So in all of these cases, I would either switch these to while using the app if it's helpful for you or to never if you don't use the location for that app. Now let's also scroll down to the bottom because we also want to go to system services. This is where your iPhone will track your location for Apple and for some legitimately helpful things and some things that you don't necessarily need. Now I would recommend following my specific settings here on what I've turned on and off. Some things like find my iPhone and emergency calls are really vital and important. Some things like suggestions and search are not as important to user location and they'll continuously drag on your battery. I would also recommend tapping on significant locations and on here, if this is turned on, turn this off, hit a clear history and clear history 
because you also don't need it necessarily to be tracking your location. This is helpful sometimes if you wanted to turn off the prevent stolen iPhones or iPhone protection. But ultimately, by turning this off, all you have to do is wait an hour if you wanted to turn off that stolen iPhone protection. Now that we've turned that off, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings here. At the very beginning of your settings, you'll be able to see this app is open and you can check every other app that's open by swiping up from the bottom. Now this is a bit controversial on whether these apps that are running in the background use up significant resources. Your iPhone does a pretty good job of limiting the amount of resources these other apps can use while running in the background. And we'll do something in your settings as well to make sure they don't run in the background. But keep in mind, some of these apps can be corrupted or just have basically endless loops of software that are running and running and running. So I would recommend if you have a bunch of apps open, this is not too bad, only a few different apps open, but if you have tens or hundreds of apps open, just swipe up to close out of those apps. Now let's go back into the settings after we've closed all of those apps because there are other things we can do in the settings. The next thing I would recommend doing is swiping down from the beginning of your settings and tapping on notifications and then scrolling down. All of these apps will be sending you notifications, again, draining your battery life. So on some of these, there's no reason why we need a notification. You can just tap on it and turn off allow notifications. I would recommend going through this entire list. If it's helpful to receive a notification from this, you can leave it on. If it's not helpful, make sure to turn it off. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is hopping out of here and checking for any widgets. So swipe to the left and right on your phone. Check for some of these widgets. You can see like this smart widget has the stocks, has clock, has news, has weather, all of those things built into here, which means it's constantly updating all of those things all the time whenever your phone is on. Keep in mind, these are helpful sometimes, but sometimes can be a drag on your battery life. So if it's not super helpful to you, you can always tap and hold and then hit remove stack and remove that specific widget. Keep in mind, again, unless you use them regularly, make sure to delete them because they do use your battery. After you've done that, I would head back into the settings app. There are a couple other things we'll do in your settings to help prevent apps from running in the background and draining your battery life a few other ways. Towards the bottom here at the beginning of your settings, tap on general and then scroll down, tap on background app refresh. This allows all of these apps to run in the background even if you're not using that specific app. I would highly recommend tapping at the very top, turning this off. This will prevent these apps from running in the background unless you physically open them up and start using them. But I would also check if we go back to the very beginning and make sure the display isn't running and draining your battery life. Because essentially, if you have that display turned on and the brightness turned on a bunch, it will run your battery constantly. So tap on display and brightness. And then on here, I'll scroll down and tap on auto lock. Now, if this is set to never or five minutes, you wanna bump this down to something like one minute or 30 seconds. I'm recording this video, so I keep it longer just for this video, but then I immediately bump it down to 30 seconds. That means if I don't use my iPhone for 30 seconds, it just turns off. You can always just tap on it to turn it back on, but this helps preserve my battery life. Now, there are two other things I would recommend doing that are a bit more advanced that will help your battery life on your iPhone if you're still having issues. The next one is to scroll down from the beginning of your settings, tap on accessibility, and then on here, tap on motion. Now, at the very top, it's for, sort of hidden in here, but reduce motion says reduce the motion of user interface, including the parallax effects on your icons. Turn this on and what you'll see is if I swipe out of here, 
it just disappears. It doesn't have that kind of minimizing effect of an app opening and closing, etc. But you'd be surprised how much this reduces the battery drain on your iPhone and helps to prolong the battery life. The last thing I would recommend doing is going back to the very beginning of your iPhone settings, tap on battery here, and then you can see if I scroll down here, power mode, there's low power mode. Now this sounds simple, but essentially it says iPhone will temporarily reduce some background activities, processing speeds, display, refresh rate, brightness, limit certain features such as 5G, iCloud syncing, and mail fetch. Essentially what this does is it does a lot of the things that we just turned off and manually did. Essentially this does it by default. So you can just turn this on and it does some other things that we can't really control such as background activities and the processing speed. So if you're really having issues with the battery life on your iPhone, you can just constantly have low power mode turned on and use your iPhone and you'd be surprised how much longer your iPhone battery lasts with low power mode just turned on.